Hello, hello. Um, if you've been following this engine build, um, you'd know what's going on here. Um, I need to replace this camshaft. Um, and this is my 1.6 liter CVH head, my spare one. Um, and if you were listening closely in uh, my previous videos about this, um, I mentioned that one of my cam lobes is worn out. Um, I think it's this one. Maybe, I might be wrong. I wrote it down in my notes, but I don't have my notebook on me. Um, it was third to the last on one of the two sides. I'm not sure which, but I'm pretty sure it was this. Um, the, the exhaust lobe for the fourth cylinder here. So, um, cam's got to come out. Uh, I ordered a cam. It was ridiculously cheap so and it, it was genuine Ford I, I think so I just went with it um, but today's video is gonna be uh, about uh, removing and replacing a cam we'll go over the cam comparisons between the, the one I have in here the, the stock carbureted 1.6 cam uh, for North American engines versus the cam I got, a uh, 1.6 high output cam. Um, so we'll go over that in a different video, but today's video I just wanted to show you how to remove it. So uh, the story goes is you can remove these these cams while the car is still, er, while the engine is still inside the car, while the head is still attached to the engine, which sure seems plausible as long as you can get the timing cover off which is sometimes quite tricky. Get the um, the camshaft pulley off, which is also tricky uh, because there's not too much space in here. You know, not enough for a puller. Um, and then there is a bunch of space on this side once you take the distributor off, um, but I've never done this inside a car to really know. This is the first time I've uh, not the first time I'm taking a cam out, but this is one of the first times that I'm switching a, a cam in one of these engines. So, not much to it. Once you get the timing cover off, it's, um, it's a plastic shroud that gets screwed onto to these studs. goes into the bottom two holes in the head. And then... And you have to take your timing pulley off, which is sometimes a pain. Um, might haven't fight me too bad, so things could be worse. The bolts on these vary depending on the year, and the design of the pulley varies depending on the year too. Um, you'd think they'd all be stamped with with a part number, but I guess not. Because uh, the one for my 1.9 was stamped with the part number E E5 or E6, then whatever, 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 following behind it, because it's 1.9. Um, all most of the parts casted for it are were made in 85. That would be why it has um, an E5 as the first two digits of the part number. Um, and the 1.9s have a. I think a smaller bolt than these. They're the same grade, but uh, my 1.6 has a bigger bolt. Um, I don't know if the threads are any different. I don't. I didn't measure the ends of the cam shafts to see if they're any different. But I imagine that the the pulleys are probably the same. Um, but I could be wrong. So, anyhow, now you get the cam pulley off. All you need to do is get the cam retainer out. It is this black, blackish bar in here. And all you have to do, do is remove two of these little bolts out of these top two holes. And your retainer bar will just slide right out. And it looks like this. You can see the, the area where the cam rides up against. And then there's these two oil passageways. to get oil down in there. So uh, now once you got all that off, 
Um, you're good to go to pull the cam out. The manual says that these can only be pulled out the back, uh, being the distributor side. Um, and when I put this in here, you can actually move it both both ways pretty far. It, it just gets caught up on the seal, uh, but maybe it's getting caught up elsewhere. Because the way they designed it is, uh, and I looked in the book for this, it, uh, you can get the Chilton's manual for this and it'll give you uh, the diameter specifications for each one of the cam journals, you know, the, the main journals that the cam rides in. And on this side, it is small, and out here it is bigger. So each journal gets bigger by about 0 0.015, I think. Again, don't quote me on that, but uh, it's just to uh, help with the visual of it. Um, so they gradually get bigger as you go through the cam. So once you get all that out, you just slide, the, slide it straight on out.